Super simple automotive explanations. What you're seeing right here is the side of an internal combustion engine's cylinder. Now inside the cylinder, we have a piston. We all know the pistons go up and down inside the engine, but how do they do that to develop power? Well, all the way at the top, you're gonna see these things called valves, right? Now in this example, we're only gonna use two valves, one for intake, one for exhaust. As the valve on the intake side opens, the exhaust valve is closed. The piston's gonna start going on down. Now, as the piston starts to drop, it works a lot like a syringe, it sucks in air and fuel, and it might be forced in as well. Now, once the piston hits bottom dead center, the valve on the top will typically go ahead and close. Once that valve closes, the piston's gonna work its way up and squeeze all the air and the fuel together, and then the spark plug's gonna go off and we're gonna get a big bang. It's gonna shove that piston piston on down, creating power, moving your wheels. Now the exhaust valve is going to open up, piston's going to go up and push all that exhaust out. Our system will repeat itself from there.